Hello and welcome back to another Barbie video. I'm Carly and today we are taking a look at the Endless Curls Barbie. The moment that I saw this kit, I knew that I had to pick it up because I have done some hairstyling on dolls before to make it look like they just came out of the box. And believe me when I say that trying to recurl a doll's hair can be a real pain, but this set specifically has the special quick curl hair that doesn't need any heat or any water to do curls. So let's go ahead and see how this kit works out. This kit comes with a ton of cute little hair accessories like these two curling irons. This one has a small clip and this wave design going up the barrel. And this one has a full clip. These are going to be the ones that you use to curl her hair. You also have a set of four hair rollers and I haven't seen these in forever. If you wanted your hair curled when I was a kid, this is what you'd have to use, and oh my gosh, you'd have to sleep with them in. <laughs> but this is what they look like. It has Barbie's name right there in the center. What you do is you unclip these things and roll the hair up in them and put them in, and I'll show you guys a demonstration of that later. You also get two berets. They are pink, of course, with these really cute little stars on them. And last but not least, you get this brush to help straighten her hair back out. It has a really good profile of Barbie with all this hair on it. And as you can tell, I have some of these hair elastics wrapped on it. These do come with the set. You get a pink one, a black one, and a white one. And here's Barbie, the star of the show, with her special quick curl hair. This is a really lovely light blonde color. It feels a lot different than normal doll hair. It feels like it's a bit more sticky, kind of like it has dried hairspray on it, but it's not like tacky. And it feels like it's a little bit thicker than other doll hair that I've had from Barbie. So we'll see how this plays out. So here is her makeup. We've got a beautiful neutral eye going on here, but it's a little bit more dramatic with this gray in the crease. We've also got a lovely shiny pink lip. And I love this dress. This pleather panel in the front looks so cool with this pink stitching. And there's also some shiny panels here too, which I love. Her skirt is adorable. I love glitter and I love chevron, so this is absolutely perfect for me. And then there's an underskirt, which is made out of that same shiny pink material that we saw up on the top. And here are her shoes, which I absolutely adore. They are black with these little studs everywhere, and there's also some tassels on here. As for her limbs, we have a pretty normal range of motion right here with her shoulders. And we actually have the snappy joint legs, which I really like. These are my favorite ones. You can actually move the knees without having that really big, obvious hinge in them. So that's what her limbs are like. But enough of that, let's go ahead and get on with the styling. So in order to demonstrate these three tools, I'm gonna break the hair up into different sections and I'm gonna start with the hair roller first because if these things work any way like they do in the real world, they take a lot longer to actually set. So I'm gonna take a little bit of hair off the top of her head and the instructions say to use about a pinky width. I'm using just a little bit less just so I don't run out of hair in the front here. So I'm gonna take the brush, I'm gonna brush it out so I have like this nice little piece of hair that's not super straggly. And I'm just going to take it right here at the base and start wrapping the hair around it like this. And once I have it all wrapped up, I'm just gonna take the little hook thing over here and pop it on. And it looks like the end has already kind of come out a bit, but we'll see. Next, I'm going to go ahead and take this bit of her hair on the side here, and I'm gonna use this really funky looking one with the teeny clip and the spirally bit. So. What I'm gonna do, also following the instructions, is take a small piece of hair and I'm going to brush it out so it looks all pretty and you don't get like all these weird stragglers in there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it from the top, clip it under the clip, and then pull down so I can have the hair really, really nice and tight. Like this. And then I'm gonna start curling it keeping it really tight as well. Sorry Barbie, I'm totally pulling on your hair. So I'm supposed to leave this in here for about 10 seconds. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And I'm gonna slowly start unraveling this. Let's hope this works and then, there we go, get the clip out. Wow, that really does work. Look at that, That's that right there is a legitimate curl. Look at that. That's really cool. 
Let's see how well that fares when we go on to the other side with the clipped burl curling iron. So I'm just doing the same thing over here. Thicken out a little bit, not a really big bit. Brushing it out, making sure the rest of the hair is away from it. Hopefully this one will be a little bit more pretty because the other one got a little ugly with that teeny little clip. So I'm gonna start way up here at the top, pull the hair tight all the way down to the bottom and start curling. Keeping it real tight here. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Let's see. Just gently, gently, gently uncurling here. Come on. Uh-oh, I think I got something of it caught. All right, look at that! Here's another curl. This one's more of a loose wave, so let's go ahead and look at the other side. Oh no, it looks like this one has fallen. That's a bummer. Like, just like with real hair, curls can totally fall if you don't leave it long enough, or if you don't have enough product in it, or if the heat's not high enough, but since we're not using heat, I think it's just because I probably didn't leave it in long enough. So I'm gonna go ahead and try that again, and this time I'm gonna use it for 20 seconds and see if that fits. All right, that's been about 20 seconds there, so let's go ahead and take it on down. Ooh, that actually looks curlier than it did before, and the other side has fallen. Oh man, I wonder how long it, oh, you can actually see it falling right now, look at that. It's slowly unwinding, it's doing its thing. So I wonder how long it takes for this thing to actually be in the hair for it to stay. And I wonder if you actually spray it with hairspray. I'm not gonna try that because I don't want to ruin the doll hair, but you know, food for thought. So we've given this top roller here a long time to sit there and do its thing. So let's go ahead and take that out. It's been probably around, I don't know, five minutes. Let's take that out. Wow, <laughs> that is a very curly curl. That is like some Shirley Temple status right there. Of course, the little end that hung out was kind of weird looking, but. All right, so let's watch this thing. It looks like it's falling a little bit, but I'm pretty sure that this one with the hot rollers is the one that's gonna stay the longest. So if you really want your doll to have long staying curls, use a lot of these rollers and I would say keep them in for about an hour and then you'll have like these really lovely Shirley Temple, almost Taylor Swift curls. But overall, you know, these things curl a lot better than you would with a normal doll. So I'm really not all that upset about it. It's a fun little toy to play with and it's a good way to get practice in. I'm gonna go ahead and try out a style and I'll show you guys in a bit, but I'm totally gonna use some of these elastics and some of the berets. Oh, but before I do that, I have to straighten her hair back out, so I'm taking this brush and I'm just brushing out the curls and eventually these things will straighten back out, just like over here with this fallen one from that weird spirally iron. See, it's straightening right back out. Okay, so I've had Barbie chilling in her rollers for about half an hour now, so let's go ahead, take them out, spruce it up, and see how this hairstyle looks on her. Alright, and that's the finished look. She's just got this really high ponytail with a beret in it and the super voluminous curly ponytail. A few little hairs here and there didn't manage to get into the curler, so there's a few little weird long straight ones that are just kind of chilling. But overall, I'm pretty happy with this and the curls seem to be staying alright. I'm not seeing them like visibly falling. So I think honestly that the curlers are the way to go when it comes to long lasting waves or curls with Endless Curls Barbie. All right, and that's a wrap. Thank you so much for watching, and if you like my video on the Endless Curls Barbie, please let me know down in the comments below with a like or even by subscribing. Now you can watch another one of my Barbie videos, or you can watch one of my friends' videos. Our pictures are always in the corner like these four examples.